Namaste, my dear friends. In the earlier session, we referred and concluded the exemptions under GST by inviting comprehensive approach on it. We referred by discussing elaboratively the concept of uh, the education services, healthcare services, professional sector services. Like that, we referred and understood the importance of the exemptions. Now, inviting to you <coughs> exemptions, furthermore, few left over. Let us quickly cover that before commencing the uh, important topic today is input tax credit. Before commencing it, let us have a few of couple of exemptions which is there one can expect in the examination. In this regard, I am bringing to notice, my dear friends, construction sector only exempted category only I am referring here. Pure labor services for housing schemes exempted. Services provided by way of pure labor contract of construction, erection, commissioning, installation, completion, fitting out, repair, maintenance, renovation or alteration or civil structure or any other original works pertaining to the beneficiary led individual house construction or enhancement under the housing for all urban or the Pradhan Mantri urban hours yojana simple to say that construction renovation commissioning alteration in relation to housing for all urban mission or pradhan mantri hours yojana scheme under this scheme pure labor services supplied by any person is absolutely exempted from the payment of the GST. Generally, recipient of service here is the private and public together, government and the builders together coming forward here to carry out this activity for which I am providing pure labor services. Absolutely exempted. But it should be Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana scheme or otherwise the house construction or renovation, repair, what not, housing for all urban machine. Under that category, few labor services are exempted. Material supplied, entire value will attach GST. You cannot be able to invite, hey, sorry, you cannot be able to invite the 25% of the material, sir, not exceeded, sir. That is not applicable in the given case. If it is pure labor, exemption, otherwise taxable. Separate liable to pay GST. Further, similar to pure labor services for individual residential construction, individual residential construction, pure labor service. Repeating, individual construction only, pure labor service only. If a builder provides the services to a retired government officer who receives the compensation from the government as a uh, retirement benefit, he wants to construct on his own land a particular single residential house. This builder providing services of construction of the building, which is a pure labor service, not charging anything. Uh, material here. In that case, to a single residential house, construction, pure labor supply of service, absolutely exempted. Meaning thereby, Mr. Builder, I am a builder, provided repairs and maintenance pure labor service to residential house, single residential house, 
taxable or exempted taxable construction different repairs and maintenance different further sir single house sir which is constructed for the commercial purposes sir few labor services absolutely taxable sir there is a two floor house sir first floor one house second floor also one house sir ground floor fully slit parking left sir in that case i provide the pure labor services of construction of two floors sir two floors means not a single property as a result though it may be residential nature though it may be pure labor since it is not a single property which attend the gst further my dear friends this real estate sector taxation as i told you sometimes before now also i'm repeating by saying that it is excluded in ca syllabus especially for may 2024 before that also is excluded is continuing that particular pattern further intermediary services what do you mean this intermediary services simple to say it is can be compared with our section 7 subsection 2 class a known as the negative list supply excludes schedule 3 under schedule 3 there is a point number 7 supply of goods from non taxable territory to another non taxable territory without touching the taxable territory that point which is supply excluded in the finance act 2023 the amendment made with retrospective effect from 1st july 2020 at uh, 2017 onwards it is not taxable supply excludes which is sub for goods nature similar to that is a service nature simple to say here step by step you look here enough to understand mr c of chennai intermediary where c of chennai intermediary is an a commission agent of a incorporation of usa c of chennai wanted to sell the goods of a incorporation of usa identified the buyer globally and c of chennai got a particular uh, customer to buy the product yes incorporation of singapore he shown the interest to buy that product of a incorporation then mr c of chennai receiving the order from s yes, singapore and intimating to his principal hey mr a incorporation one buyer for your goods is waiting in singapore then intimated to a incorporation a incorporation is supply the goods from usa to Singapore in air cargo. Now goods are moving from USA to Singapore, from non-taxable territory to non-taxable territory. But Mr. C of Chennai provided services only, namely intermediary services. If that is the case, my dear sir, in the given case. supplier of service c 
सी ऑफ चेन्नई रिसिपेंट ऑफ सर्विस बिलोंग्स टू यूएसए क्रॉस बॉर्डर ट्रांसैक्शन फॉर सी ऑफ चेन्नई प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई अंडर सेक्शन थर्टीन सब सेक्शन एट क्लास बी इंटरमीडिएट नथिंग बट लोकेशन ऑफ सप्लायर लोकेशन ऑफ सप्लायर नन अदर देन चेन्नई देर फोर हियर इफ देर इज अ केस प्लेस ऑफ गोस टू चेन्नई लोकेशन ऑफ सप्लायर चेन्नई लाइबल टू पे आई जी एस टी ए क्वेश्चन मार्क आई जी एस If this exemption not in place, liable to pay IGST by C of Chennai. Because of this exemption is in force, C of Chennai not liable to pay GST on such commission earned from a incorporation of USA. So supplier of service commission is earned by Mr. C is exempt. From GST, even though the place of supply is in India, one can expect in the examination this type of points also. Furthermore, we have some of these exemptions, which I refer to you now. Tell me, my dear friends. So far, we referred. Any doubt you have? Any doubt? Any doubt? No doubt. Very good. other sector services i can say miscellaneous nature what type of service i am bringing here which is qualify exemption supply of services associated with transit cargo to nepal and bhutan which is also be here we are calling as land locked countries have been exempted from the gst what do you mean this associate cost nepal to bhutan or bhutan to nepal as the case may land locked country if you refer here my dear sir carefully in the particular uh, map sir here india indian soil it is indian soil nepal this said bhutan nepal bhutan connectivity here is india indian soil in such case india connecting nepal and bhutan we call as land locked countries nepal and bhutan to india now assume a scenario from nepal to bhutan transporting the goods by road for example by road here a vehicle transporting the goods from nepal to bhutan or it may be bhutan to nepal also clarification given when it enter into india that vehicle to transport the goods ultimate destination to bhutan or ultimate destination to nepal as the case may be from bhutan in that case it is called as transit cargo why transit cargo goods sir 
set to sail from a country outside India to a country outside India via India. So, in India, such cargo we called as transit cargo. Now, in India, our Indians are providing services to such cargo, storage services, cleaning services, repair services, storage services or security services, what not. Any services associated with such transit cargo, which is absolutely exempted from the payment of the GST, it will be treated as if it is export of services nature. Said by the GST Council, notified by the government and accordingly we got exemption in this regard. Further my defense. Services supplied by Russian shop person under the PDS, public distribution system for government or central state as the case may be. Russian shop person who got the license and distributing the goods on behalf of the state or central government through Russian shop to the card holders and ending the commission by Russian shop Ola. Whatever the goods supplied by him on behalf of the government through public distribution system which is qualified from exemption. There won't be any GST. Any supply of goods. They have been inserted here the word etc. Any goods supplied or etc. Means any goods. Further. Here somewhat important to note. Toll charges, toll fees paid to toll gate on account of access of a road or bridge where we are going to pay the toll, access of road or bridge and payment of toll, toll charges, toll absolutely free from GST, toll charges absolutely free from GST. Here only there was circular with some clarification in this regard. Sir, one simple example here. If possible, <clears throat> I will bring one simple example. The example is a case scenario oriented example it is. Toll exempted if carried by the Toll Authority of India or a particular uh, toll which got license uh, to rear the road, repair the road, extend the road and maintain the road, incur so much of expenditure for which they collected the toll charges from the commuters in the given case. If there is a case, what about a case where the person sitting there and collecting the toll on commission basis, whether he is liable to pay GST? A question mark. That I will present here with a simple example that, that gives the clarity, more clarity. Sir, Mrs. X Limited, registered person under GST, which is authority to collect toll. They appointed the 
मिसेस वाइव प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आरसीबी रजिस्टर पर्सन टू कलेक्ट टोल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मिसेस एक्स लिमिटेड ऑन कमीशन बेसिस सो वॉट दी टोल कलेक्टेड बाई एक्स लिमिटेड थ्रू वाई प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टोल फुल्ली एग्जेप्टेड एंड इन रिटर्न दे पे टू देम कमीशन कमीशन रिसीव बाई वाई प्राइवेट लिमिटेड फ्रॉम एक्स लिमिटेड फॉर वॉट फॉर कलेक्टिंग द टोल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड this commission what they received is it taxable or is it exempted this commission which is required attention here one can expect in the examination yes now tell me i am asking my beloved friends are there or not if you not respond i will say like that only Are you there or not? Excellent. Hats off to you, my dear. You have to say bold enough to speak. This is taxable. Clarification given by the CBIC. Commission taxable in hands of Y Private Limited. At the same time, there is an exemption. Which is withdrawn now. Annuity, toll collected on annual basis. Toll collected on annual basis. When generally happens, there is a national highway. National Highway exactly here. There is a toll, toll point. Is a toll, toll gate. After crossing the toll gate, there is some work is going on. Let us say. construction work going on from here mrs a limited builder and their staff very often used to go by passing to this particular road to the work site in a day 10 times they go and come back and every time paying the toll is too difficult and especially nowadays toll now became so simplified uh earlier they used to stand in the queue to pay the toll minimum on an average basis 10 to 15 minutes they used to stand in the queue sometimes festivals is hours together they have to stand there is a reason government said toll authority the authority to call the toll you can cut yearly ones then they have a separate route by having the pass without uh, halting in particular toll gate they can pass through such a toll called annual basis collected was exempted now this exemption has been withdrawn this annuity nature toll exemption not there 
टोल कलेक्ट ऑन एनुअल बेसिस टोल कलेक्ट ऑन एनुअल बेसिस नाउ वेल टैक्सेबल क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू कम इन दिस रेकर्ड द एग्जाम हैज बिन विद्रॉन बाय कीपिंग इन माइंड फास्ट टैक्स गोइंग टू बी इश्यू वी आर मोस्ट ऑल इश्यूड एंड मैंडेटरी फास्ट टैक्स नाउ एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट नो नीड ऑफ एनी फास्ट टैक्स ऑल्सो यू हैव टू हैव सफिशियंट बैलेंस इन दट वैलेट when you passing through that particular toll the satellite recognizing your vehicle vehicle number and debiting the account toll charges not required to fast tag so advanced concept 100 times you go and come through that particular toll by crossing so what 100 times that fellow through satellite will charge see system advanced concepts so here i want to highlight this point from 1st january 2023 onwards the exemption withdrawn for annuity payment in case of toll further presenting in front of you distribution of electricity even for commercial purpose distribution or for residential purpose distribution as the case may be distribution of electricity supply of services exempted provided it should be supplied by only this nature of authorities the central electricity authority a state electricity board a state transmission utility a transmission licensee or a distribution licensee only exempted if they provide if reliance power sector reliance power supply distribution of electricity which is not under this any category absolute at the gist distribution of power exempted only in the hands of central electricity authority or state electricity board you know tamil nadu let us say here tamil nadu electricity board tnab state transmission utility a transmission licensee or distribution licensee if the reliance power obtain the license as a distribution licensee then provide the distribution of electricity absolutely free from gst now coming to a question that was beautifully asked one of the student you people not asking the questions that's what they a person asked question sir uh in my house on terrace we have installed the uh, what we can called solar power system solar power sheets we installed on the terrace and we also got some subsidy from the government when installation it around uh, 2 lakh rupees and all happened sir for us which is a 6 kv capacity and uh, government given some subsidy and all we happy and we installed it. we have the system sir uh, it generates 6 kv per day current we are using hardly 2 kv or 3 kv sir the balance of 4 kv or 3 kv excess on the same night day night will pass through the grid to tamil nadu electricity department and throughout the month whatever we supplied electricity to excess electricity to grid we are getting the account in bank account payment sir sometimes we get uh, 6000 7000 or 10000 15000 depends upon the saving of our current and we are supplying back to 
grid for distribution of electricity only sir we are distributing by getting from solar uh, panels is it exempt or taxable in the hands of supplier we are the supplier sir why exempted where is it are you no no i'm telling you are you central electricity department or state electricity board are you state electricity utility or a transmission licensee or a distribution licensee nothing the excess power is supplying to electricity department to the grid and getting by the payment where exemption separate government so what is it a article 243 g or article 24 w supply of power na <laughs> Mm. Basic point again. Excellent. Has served to that point. Instead of better to say that, even though that nature of supply, <clears throat> that nature of supply exceeded twenty lakhs also in a year. You are not liable. Reason not liable for. payment of gst because there is a concept called as levy of gst the following condition should be satisfied one there must be supply of goods supply of services or both two for consideration three it should be supplied in the taxable territory four the supplier should be supplied in the course or furtherance of business underline that point in the course or furtherance of business and the supplier should be a taxable person now in this particular points one point even not satisfied which is not going to be levied the gst what are the points you have to tell me my dear friends one fundamentals i have not referred this for you because not a regular class no that's why i have not referred to you but based on the fundamental only comprehensive study going to stand fundamentals means what foundation stones pillars foundation now tell me one there must be supply you all are speaking what is it uh, go anybody going to uh, shout to us or what professor so don't talk we say or what no my dear if all of them means like you no know, school children i have high respect people are sitting in front of me qualified chargeurs i agree yes there are some cs also all there for kind consideration measurements only i am very proud very happy But doesn't mean that because of CA, no uh, matter. You are CA means I am a person creator of CAs. So I am not going that extent. You have to be react and act as a student in this school. See, school days studies A, B, C, D. Have you forget even today? No reason that att attachment to learn the subject. is much more tables are you forget today no attachment is more leaven deficient is more concentration is more i want here also now listen please tell me my dear friends first point there must be supply of goods or supply of services are both one point satisfied Second one, it should be for consideration. Ah, it has to be there. Third one, it should be in the supply should be in the taxable territory. Ah, is there. Fourth one, it should be in the course or furtherance of business. And the fifth one, the supply made by a taxable person. Now here one of the point here is in the course or furtherance of business. Tell me, my dear friend. You ask that doubt now. 
we supplying back our excess power to the grid and getting the payment is it your course of business in the course of furtherance of business for a kind consideration understand this facility selling back excess current generated by you to uh, grid to the department of electricity not permit on commercial basis to any commercial units is only for residential units not the point residential units residential uh, uh, floods if they install the particular solar panels generate the excess power and it will be returning back to grid and getting the payment from energy department is the purest form of personal transaction no, absolutely not in the course of furtherance of business if that is the case this facility not available this facility not available resultantly better term to say instead of exempted not going to levy the gst sir no levy of gst because it is not in the course or furtherness of business sir that will be more attractive perfect answer perfect fit answer as i told you no no gst nil rate of gst non taxable supply not levy gst supply excludes these and all go and merge into the bay of bengal only just because of going to bay of bengal all are not one and same as i told in the last class sir just because of debit to profit and loss account you cannot say revenue expenditure deferred revenue expenditure both are one and same i am speaking with your accounting language deferred revenue expenditure debit to profit account revenue expenditure also debit to profit account does not mean that both are one and same try to understand i am correcting it you are a professional guy tomorrow you may be or once you qualified or being qualified person you go and address in the institute to the members for seminars why not if you have interest for information confirmation i am telling you half the records there are many chartered accountants cost accountants who are experts in the gst law are giving their expert advisory services to the judges where the judge is hearing the case really speaks can you expect the judge should be qualified ca no but judge is a very talented person highly knowledgeable person does not mean that he should know the accounting standards he should know the gap he should know the cost accounting standards does not require he has knowledge to analyze and provide the decision which is correct which is incorrect highly talented guy that judge before giving the verdict once he hear the case he is to consult of the record i'm telling you hey mr ca please come and tell me what is this for nature of transactions judiciary is pronouncing excellent judgments outstanding judgments even experts of ca in the given field who oh, is it so great really what a great judgment it is admiring means what they are, they are working hard at the back end before pronouncing decision where you may be a mentor a, a advisor a consultant to give the correct information in the field of indirect taxes especially gst to the judge based on your information he will take and analyze which is correct which is incorrect and will give the proper justice to justify the his profession there are people are there my dear why not you own among them well possible now please come back further there are some exemptions withdrawn but i kept list of removing that to make you understand fssai 
Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, which offers services. Food Safety Standard Authority of India, which offers services to industries, was exempted, now taxable, from 18th July 2022. Therefore, has to pay the GST. Has to pay the GST. They are providing license fees, permission, or um, giving the uh, uh, FSSS certification, and all is taxable. Public libraries. I am talking about public libraries. Kannamara Library, Anna Scientarium. Libraries in nature of public library, lending the books. Collecting the fees from the members to become a membership, to get a membership, the fees absolutely accepted because they are providing knowledge content enhancement uh, content on rental basis, being a public library exempted. What about CA Institute has library? CA Institute has a library, very big library, CA Institute has. Even in Nunambakam, excellent library. I used to go there. Very big library. They are collect. They have given the books, lending the books to students, and they put an ID card for which you have to pay the fees. Three months, four months, or one year, you have to pay the fees. If they provide the services to a student by letting out other books, is it taxable or exempted? Why? Is a public library? CA Institute Library is a public library. Excellent. There, there, there you are, sir. Not as a public library exempted. It is exempted only under the education sector, sir. Whatever may be the services supplied by the education institutions to their students, to their staff, to their faculty. Exempted, sir. Even Kung Fu Karate, you said sometimes before, if education to provide the services to the students, exempted, sir. It's clear of my defense. So, you rightly identified from that angle, is exempted. Huh. Our GST network portal is again fundamental to say this GST network portal established by the government and incorporated under the Companies Act under Section 8 as non-profit making organization in which the stakeholding held by the government, government entity, central state has equal uh, way of uh, contribution and they are providing services to the government not to the uh, customers customers means not taxpayer taxpayer not going to pay any fees under this GH network portal to network portal they are not just they are using that particular government portal GST network portal using and filing the returns paying the taxes getting the registrations, like that. Services are offered by net GST network portal to taxpayers, where the recipient of service is government, central state, and the fees charged by them for doing services was exempted. From 18 July 2022, this exemption withdrawn. Now, GST network portal itself is a GST taxpayer under the GST law. They are paying the GST to the department for the fees what they are collecting from the government. Very, very, very important. <coughs> exhibition. Exhibition. I want to highlight it. Hope so. You have a good memory to recall also. Exhibition services, which is 
held outside India, exempted in India. Exhibition held outside India is exempted in India. Sir, what is exhibition? Promoting the products or services without using print media, without using electronic media, not advertising through net, through, through television channels or radio or through internet or through SMS, no, not advertising to sell the product or services through newspapers, no, not advertising, but selling the product or services, how is that possible? known as exhibition where I am an event organizer to conduct an exhibition. I approached Sony, Reliance, Daikin, Philips, Tata, all type of branded nature of home appliances. I offered them, sir, I am going to conduct I am going to be host one exhibition for one week near Marina Beach where I will provide to you people stalls. I will provide to you lighting facility, security facility, drinking facility, laboratories, washroom facilities. I am going to conduct for one week exhibition, home appliances. You want to book the stall, you book it. These companies want to exhibit their product in the exhibition. We call them exhibitors. Supplier of services, event organizer who permitted to exhibit the product or services of exhibitors. Supplier of services is the our event organizer, recipient of services are exhibitors who are exhibiting their product or services in the exhibition. They are the recipient of services because the event organizer collecting the charges from the these corporate companies who are none other than exhibitors. Customers are coming to the exhibition. If they like their purchase, otherwise they enquire and go to purchase in the future period of time or some of them simply coming for time pass and watch and go. But one way or the other, I provide a platform to my exhibitors to exhibit their product or services for sale. There is a proverb in the Hindi, Jo dikhega, wo bikega. Means, what is, is able to display that get market. That means the product which is displaceable, I uh, mean uh, visible to the public at large, what is visible to the public at large is capable to sell. That's why you know I am sending my classes uh, to net uh, in, uh, WhatsApp group. Sir, please inform your friends, sir. Maybe your friend may be going to ask. Sometimes, no, sir, I have started a crash course. I really do not know, sir. Do not know. I advertise this now. No, sir, I could not able to notice, sir. Can I join now, sir? Sir, will last us, sir. How can you join, sir? Next batch, next batch only for the next item, sir, not this item, sir. You saw, if it have no means, sir, that people used to say. So that's why I used to send the advertisements, my classes. What is visible, capable to sell. Jo dikhega, wo bikhega. Likewise, here also, I am permitting as event organizer to exhibit the product of the exhibitors to promote it, but not a advertising. What is advertising through print media or electronic media? My classes I am sending to the internet to your group and all, which is called what? Advertisement, not exhibition. This is what exhibition. Such an exhibition held outside India is exempted in India. Now, 
with one example. Classical example I am going to bring to your notice. You will appreciate with this example. Sir, here, Mr. Ravi Kiran is Rishra person event organizer he is located let us say in Chennai where Mr. Shahrukh Khan, eminent actor, Mumbai, who is unregistered person in Jastila. He wanted to have one particular, let us say, dance event where Dubai he want to connect the dance event in Dubai where Ravi Kiran organized supplier of service Recipient of service dance event is organizing. Supplier from Chennai, recipient from Mumbai. Therefore, the place of supply should be as per section 12 series. It is organizing event, therefore, subsection 7 of IGST Act. Accordingly, place of supply is equal to location of the recipient if the recipient is a registered person. Unregistered person, where the event actually held. If the held is outside India, the event held outside India. If that case, place of supply goes to Chappandi, Solungo, Bolo sir, first point I said, second point I said, third point only asking, section 12, 7 of IGST, place of supply in the given case, location of the recipient, if the recipient is a issue person, if the recipient is an issue person, where the event actually held is the place of supply, if the held outside India, then the place of supply goes to location of recipient. Excellent. Has served the answer. So, place of supply is equal to what? Recipient location. Mumbai. Now, Ravi Kiran supplier supplied these services from Chennai to supply Mumbai. If so, in the hands of Ravi Kiran, whether liable to pay IGST or not, IGST will be levied. Answer is yes or no. IGST will be levied or not. So much of thinking time you are taking, after explanation is very clearly what is advertisement, what is the uh, uh, exhibition, what is the event and all I told you. Here, ah, tell me, exempt, ah. okay, why exempt? 
not not a business exhibition not a business not a business exhibition got the clarity not a business exhibition therefore tax up same situation suppose if i say here at dubai the costumes costumes wearing apparels of sharukh khan so many years he acted so far he acted in the industry especially bollywood he is the bollywood basha so many wearing apparels he used in the movie center all his costumes collected and showing this for sale in dubai costumes exhibited in dubai coming to that place those who are liking ha ah, dil wale dulhan le jayega le jayenge ha dil wale dulhan le jayenge movie costumes are oh, very good i purchase i have love and affection in the movie so like that people who are coming there and buying otherwise no or some of them simply uh, 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 booking and paying in advance and going some of them simply coming and watching and going so many costumes has been exhibited recipient of service remains sharukh khan anish prasad ravi kiran is a supplier event organizer permitted to exhibit the costumes wearing apparels of mr sharukh khan in a particular uh event exhibition is an event in dubai now you tell me in the given case is it, is, is it taxable gs will be levied in the hands of mr uh, ravi kiran who is a rich person is it taxable or exempted in the given case place of supply remains same place of supply remains same mumbai only event organizer from chennai event held in dubai what event costumes of mr sharukh khan so many years he acted all these costumes has been collected from various uh, persons who uh, having that costumes and displaying it his eminent person na his costumes also play vital role now tell me is it i just should be leave it or not leave it yes or no in the hands of ravi kiran you have to say by this sir gst will not be leave it no why not leave it it is clearly provided as exhibition exhibition outside india therefore exempted supply it is that's why here i just will believe it no not going to believe it one simple point here by reading at your end if you read what is going to happen ah exempted services by an organizer 
टू एन एनी पर्सन इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस एग्जीबिशन हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया ओ एग्जाम सप्लाई मच ओनली कम टू नो बट इट हैज इम्प्लीकेशन इन द प्रैक्टिस दिस मच As a student, you can't visualize it. As a faculty, we will work for it. We will do the research on it. Again, studying so much of the books. See, there are so many books here, there, here, there. There are all books in my room. Every day, getting the. G. I told you, I have shown also. This particular, no. GST, lot times every weekly, weekly one book comes, which has updations, amendments, uh, case studies, journals, experts writing, uh, journals, subject matter of GST. But as a student, you cannot study so much for the exam point of view because you have a boundary to qualify. For which is a light perfect platform, professor classes for IDT, CF final, CMF final. I will take care. Now please come back. Further my dear friends, services by foreign diplomatic missions located in India exempt from the GST. Foreign embassies in India, international organizations in India who provide the services in India absolutely exempted. Services what earlier was there but now omitted it is. Services by way of slaughtering services, slaughterhouses. Services by way of slaughtering services. Slaughtering services absolutely now taxable. Sale of fresh meat. Exempted goods, but dressing, cutting, and uh, selling this and all absolutely now taxable by any tannery houses or the particular slaughter houses which are providing this services will utter the GST now. But again, the supplier should be. Come forward and say my turnover exceeded that threshold for registration. Pay the GST. Further, services by way of providing information under the. Right to Information Act under the Right to Information Act. I made an application to RTI by stating that I wanted to know how many times our Prime Minister of India went to abroad, what are those countries, and expenditure, how much taken place. I want to know. RTI will ask. What for you know this particular information? Sir, I am preparing UPSC examination, Union Public Service Commission examination. The information not available, sir, for me. Uh, therefore, I want to know the information to update my knowledge to write the UPSC examination preparing it, sir. Then the RTA wala said, in that case, you pay fees, 12,000 rupees. I paid the fees. They given the information. Now, who provides the services? RTI to individual. RTI liable to pay GST? No, exempted from the payment of GST. Exempted. Coming to excess royalty collection contract. A detailed manner will explain this. Which is here provided mining lease that and this, and finally, I have given simplified approach. It 
is a mining lease contract. Excess royalty collection contract exempted. What is exempted have been explained here elaboratively. Referring to now excess royalty collection contract. What is exempted? I clearly mentioned in here in your book here. Services supplied by state government to excess royalty collection contractor by way of assigning the right to collect royalty on behalf of the state government on the mineral dispatched by mining lease holders. By reading, too difficult to understand what is exactly the exemption here. I am now presenting in a simplified manner diagrammatic presentation. Here. This entire reading is too difficult to read and understand it. Presentation practically. State Government of Tamil Nadu granted mining lease license because state government has the right on mining and that rights has been given on uh, lease basis to whom to a particular uh, company called here as as no x limited x limited got the license because he is the highest bidder to got the license and state government said okay x limited you extract uh, minerals or coal whatever may be from the given area license has been granted supplier of services uh, state government x limited being a business entity recipient obviously it's a person only because Ratio person only can able to apply for the bid to get that particular license. Otherwise, you are disqualified to apply for a uh, bid. So, excellent ratio person. For which state government said, you have to pay to me fixed rent. We called as dead rent. 10 lakh rupees. For which I am giving license to you. How many... Uh, months it is, let us say it may be 18 months or it may be 2 years as the case may be 5 years depends upon the license agreement. Dead rent to be paid 10 lakh rupees. Now supplier of service of this is state government. Recipient of service business entity. Is it exempt supply? You tell me brother. License fee, license granted and got the license fee. Exam supply? Absolutely not. Resultantly, taxable supply. Supplier is a government, recipient is a business entity. Now tell me, recipient business is a person. Liable to pay GST? Yes. Who liable to pay GST? That much you have to say, who liable to pay GST? Ma? RCM apply, excellent, ma? excellent. RCM apply. So, recipient X limited is liable to pay GST on dead rent. GST 18% paid by X limited under RCM. So far, so good. Is it clear? Now, here, government so worried. What is the worriness of the government here is, I said dead rent 10 lakhs, but the extremity when going to extract the minerals, coal or while mining from that particular premises, he may extract much more. That means what we charge dead rent 10 lakh may be peanut tomorrow if he is going to extract more than required quantum i am a loser i cannot go and sit in front of the x limited uh, start digging how much quintals of weight you taken minerals or this particular coal how much this and all cannot be able to carry out by the government to take the accounting of that activity cannot able to observe 
the X limited activities in the mining area. There should not be undue benefit. Therefore, state government of India appointing one person excess royalty collection contractor. Hey, Mister, are you able to go and sit in the mining area and watch like a watchdog the activities of X Limited and day to day basis what they are extracting? Can you have accounting at your end? And if that is the case, whatever excess than the minimum prescribed limit extracted by that fellow please inform me the excess royalty collection contractor said i will do for you what you can do for me oh you want consideration no for doing the business fine do one thing Mr. Excess Royalty Collection Contractor for doing this activity, for doing this activity you, will take, you have to take the account of extractions and identify the total of extraction and the value of which and for doing this business on behalf of the state government how much you going to charge so whatever you said I will pay sir like that Excess Royalty Collection Contractor said in that case the state government of India namely here the Tamil Nadu state government offered bid who are interested in the given field let us have uh, this license fee we are going to provide the excess royalty collection contract license we provide where they have fixed a sum of rupees 15 lakhs whoever able to give 15 lakh rupees to us to them we will give the license excess royalty collection contractor license here also who is supplier state government who is the recipient excess royalty collection contractor what is the activity go to the mining place and watch like a watchdog collect the information maintain the record what is the extraction made by the ex limited from the mine and report to the state government for doing that activity need a license to whom a excess allocation contractor such a license has been granted by state government to excess reality collection contractor then the excess reality collection contractor says look at the government here you are asking me to do the work here and for which you are asking me to pay you 15 lakhs to get the license to do to, to, to carry the activity then what is my benefit here? Excess royalty collection contractor is asking. They said, Hey, Mr. Excess royalty collection contractor, when you report to me how much extracted on month basis, quarter basis, whatever may be the basis, how much is extracted? What is the value? Suppose if the extraction taken place over and above the dead rent excess how much collecting how much extracted by this x limited that money you collect from x limited oh is something good sir therefore i will go and watch like you know not with my two eye with four eye i used to watch how much extracting so if we extracted more than the dead rent a minimum prescribed limit quantum quantum prescribed in a month thousand quintals more than thousand quintals excess that amount you collect from x limited set by state government for which i am giving the license to you what license the excess royalty collection contract license for which you pay to me 15 lakhs ah is somewhat good sir so i am the expert in the given field i know that in the given case where the extraction will be obviously more than the fees amount of mine which is my uh, experience in the given field so external education contractor very happily paying 15 lakh rupees to state government after the license and he go and sit in the ex limited place extract 
हाँ एक्सट्रैक्टेड हाउ मच एक्सेस रॉयल्टी कलेक्टेड बाय एक्सेस रॉयल्टी कलेक्शन कंटेंट बिकॉज़ वर्ल्ड नंबर डिटरेंट हाउ मच प्रोडक्शन थाउजेंड क्विंटल्स ओनली फिक्स्ड है नाउ टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्विंटल्स केम वर्ल्ड नंबर थाउजेंड क्विंटल्स हाउ मच थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्विंटल्स एक्सेस कलेक्शन � Almost all, 20 lakhs, which is world number of dead That means 1000 quintals permitted to extract for which the estimate paying to government directly 10 lakhs taxable RCM. But he extracted over a period of time so much of excess production, 2500 quintals extracted, 1000 quintals dead rent gone. Balance 1500 quintals whose value assume 20 lakhs that is going to be collected by whom? Eh? The excess royalty crushing under hey, exempted you pay to me because I have my license holder. The excess royalty crushing under the ramen appointed by the state government. I got license so exempted paying excess royalty to the excess royalty crushing contract in the given case. Who is a supplier of service for 20 lakhs? Tell me please. Who is supplier of service for 20 lakhs? Royalty collection contractor. You can say ERCC is a supplier, sir. Excellent. Recipient of service? Oh, mining means more. Excellent. X limited. Very good. Excellent. Now, on 20 lakhs, GST liability damages are not forward charge or reverse charge? Forward charge. Excellent. This fellow ERCC paying the GST on 20 lakhs. Any difficulty? So far, so good. What is the amount exempted from the payment of the GST means the excess royalty collection contractor paid to state government to get the license. How much paid? That 15 lakhs wholly exempted from the payment of GST. That is what the exemption here. Provided that 15 lakhs of license fees paid to state government by ERCC is less than or equal to excess royalty collected. Suppose excess royalty collected by ERCC owned about dead rent instead of 20 lakhs if it is only 2 to state government by ERCC same way fee paid to state government by ERCC instead of 15 lakhs if it is 10 lakhs uh, 10 lakhs means exempted uh, what we can call why this 10 lakhs exempted here uh, huh, I will say huh. now this this will be best of a presentation uh -huh. So far, so good. We have arrived this. Actually speaks, suppose on the other hand, this particular license fee, license fee paid to state government, 15 lakhs I said. Huh. 15 lakhs said instead of 15 lakhs for example if the license fee is 22 lakh the excess royalty collected only 20 lakhs in the giving us what happened you know sir what is exempted means this 20 lakhs 
टैक्स पेड देर फोर लाइसेंस फी एलियर वेन फिफ्टीन लैक्स विच इज आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी लैक्स ओनली आई टैक्स पेड अमाउंट ओनली देर फोर फिफ्टीन लैक्स एक्सम्प्टेड सपोज लाइसेंस फी इज ट्वेंटी टू लैक्स यू कलेक्ट एक्सेस रॉयल्टी कलेक्शन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हाउ मच है ट्वेंटी लैक्स यू कलेक्टेड आन विच यू पे द जी एस टी दैट मीन्स लाइसेंस फी पे टू डिपार्टमेंट ट्वेंटी टू लैक्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू लैक्स ट्वेंटी लैक्स ओनली टैक्स इन द नेम ऑफ ई आर सी सी the difference how much here it is there 2 lakhs where supplier of service is state government recipient of service is ercc resultantly the 2 lakhs who liable to pay gst here supplier state government license pay 22 lakhs amma but he ex collected the royalty itself is how much excess royalty collected 20 lakhs collected pay the gst That means out of twenty two lakhs of license fee, twenty two lakhs taxed. Therefore, to the extent of twenty two lakhs exempted in the hands of ERCC when he paid the license fee to state government. If the license fee itself is a twenty two lakhs, and he paid the GST on only twenty two lakhs when collected ERCC, to the extent of twenty two lakhs only exempted. Go and double twenty two lakhs. How much is the license fee? Two lakhs. For which supplier of service state government. Recipient is the ERCC on two lakhs. GST will be applied in the hands of ERCC under RCM. This is what I referred to you here also in the material. I said here simplified approach. Look here, everything same. The excess royalty collected by ERCC twenty lakhs. Twenty lakhs collected. Twenty lakhs out of twenty lakhs, fifteen lakhs of license fees. Fifteen lakhs of license fees. Therefore, he is paying the ERC is paying the GST on the entire twenty lakhs, which is three point six lakhs. Out of the twenty lakhs of consideration, fifteen lakhs license fee paid to department. I will support the amount GST. Therefore, it is exempted. Fifteen lakhs exempted. suppose suppose if license fee is 22 lakhs for consignment of the uh, assignment of the right to ercc and overall excess royalty credit only 20 lakh exempt supply of services is 20 lakhs only the ercc shall pay under rcm the difference between the license fee on the service provided by state government to ercc Of assignment of right to collect the royalty and paid the GST on excess royalty collection. How much means twenty two lakh rupees license fees less fees collected by ERCC from the state government uh, from from the ex limited in the given example from license license holder is twenty lakhs. Difference is two lakhs. Pay the GST. This in the given case what happened? No ERCC is a last making company reason you not properly estimated why you have been uh, opted to pay license fee of 22 lakhs that means your business is under loss of course a business person profit includes loss every time you can expect the profit you expecting to expect the profit in the earlier case profit how much profit almost a 5 lakh plus profit you got extra royalty how much 20 lakhs Over and above didn't. Over and above didn't. You pay the fees amount department fifty lakhs. The entire fifty lakhs is taxable. Therefore, fifty lakhs is from out of fifty lakhs. Therefore, fifty lakhs exempted. If you opted to pay to state government license fee twenty two lakhs, how much you extracted from license holder as excess royalty collection? Only twenty lakhs. That means you are paying the GST on twenty lakhs plus. Difference between twenty two lakhs and twenty lakhs, two lakhs under RCM, under on twenty lakhs under FCM, GST pay, and two lakhs under RCM you pay GST. You are last is here two lakhs plus GST is the last for you. So ensure that 
go and sit in the place of the x limited license holder watch like a watch dog and bit a bit of a extraction you have to count one of the rent how much get that when you get that if you got 20 lakhs where the license fee is only 15 lakhs relax 5 lakhs rupees profit otherwise you are a loser so what is exempted under the gst is excess royalty collection contractor collected the excess royalty from license holder lease holder owner of the rent if so since he is going to pay the gst and excess royalty collection and the forward charge that excess royalty is more than the license fee paid to state government the entire license fee exempted the best example 20 lakhs collected in ercc paid license fee only 20, uh, 15 lakhs the entire 15 lakhs is exempted so much is there in a simplified one given example with this i can say that my dear friends exempted supply of services for river batch for the coming exam of may 2024 onwards with all amendments mind blowing manner case study manner is also case study na this is also case study this entire story is a case study simplified manner case study which is expecting by the institute i have covered the exemption is completed at this point of time 